All right, we'll read uh, chapter seven now. The Wormy Spaghetti. The next day, to pay back Mr. Twit back for the frog trick, Mrs. Twit sneaked out into the garden and dug up some worms. She chose big, long ones and put them in a tin and carried the tin back to the house under her apron. At one o'clock, she cooked spaghetti for lunch and she mixed the worms in with the spaghetti, but only her on her husband's plate. The worms didn't show because everything was covered in tomato sauce and sprinkled with cheese. Hey, my spaghetti's moving, cried Mr. Twit, poking around with his fo fork. It's a new kind, Mrs. Twit said, taking a mouthful from her own plate, which of course had no worms. It's called squiggly spaghetti. It's delicious. Eat it up while it's nice and hot. Mr. Twit started eating, twisting the long tomato-covered strings around with his fork and shoveling them into his mouth. Soon, there was tomato sauce all over his hairy chin. Ugh. It's, n it's not as good as the ordinary kind, he said, taking his mouthful. It's too squishy. I find it very tasty, Mrs. Twit said. She was watching him from the other end of the table. It gave her great pleasure to watch him eating worms. I find it rather bitter, Mr. Twit said. It's got a distinctly bitter flavor. Buy the other kind next time. Here they are eating their spaghetti. Mrs. Twit waited until Mr. Twit had eaten the whole plateful. Then she said, you want to know why your spaghetti was so squishy? Mr. Twit wiped the tomato sauce from his beard with a corner of the tablecloth. Ugh. Why, he said. And why it had that nasty bitter taste? Why, he said. Because it was worms, cried Mrs. Twit, clapping her hand and stamping her feet on the floor and rocking with horrible laughter. <laughs> All right, let's do, so this was six, so now we'll do seven, and we'll do chapter eight next. The Funny Walking Stick. I love this chapter. To pay Mrs. Twit back for the worms in his spaghetti, Mr. Twit thought up a really clever, nasty trick. One night, when the old woman was asleep, he crept out of bed and took her walking stick downstairs to his work shed where he stuck a tiny round piece of wood, no thicker than a penny, onto the bottom of the stick. This made the stick longer, but the difference was so small the next morning, Mrs. Twit didn't notice it. So he shortened her walking stick just a smidge. The following night, Mr. Twit stuck on another tiny bit of wood. Every night he, cr oh, he's adding length to it. He's not shortening it. Um, Mr. Twit stuck on another tiny bit of wood. Every night he crept, up, crept downstairs and added an extra tiny thickness of wood to the end of the walking stick. He did it ever, very neatly so that the extra bits looked like the part of the old stick. Gradually, but oh so gradually, Mrs. Twit's walking stick was getting longer and longer. Now, when someone is growing very slowly, it is almost impossible to notice it happening. You, for yourself, are actually growing taller every day as the days go by, but you wouldn't think of it, would you? It's happening so slowly that you can't even notice it from one week to the next. It was the same with Mrs. Twit's walking stick. It was all so slow and gradual that she didn't notice how long it was getting, even when it was halfway up her shoulder. So here's her walking stick. It's getting so high. Aren't these two married people crazy? All right. That stick's too long for you, Mr. Twit said to her one day. Why, so it is, Mrs. Twit said, looking at the stick. I've had a feeling there was something wrong, but I couldn't for the life of me think what it was. There's something wrong, all right, Mr. Twit said, beginning to enjoy himself. What can have happened, Mrs. Twit said, staring at her old walking stick. I must suddenly have grown, it must suddenly have grown longer. Don't be a fool, Mr. Twit said. How can a walking stick possibly grow longer? 
It's made of dead wood, isn't it? Dead wood can't grow. Then what on earth has happened? cried Mrs. Twit. It's not the stick, it's you, said Mr. Twit, grinning horribly. It's you! That's getting shorter. I've been noticing it for some time now. That's not true, cried Mrs. Twit. You're shrinking, woman, said Mr. Twit. It's not possible. Oh, yes, it jolly well is, said Mr. Twit. You're shrinking fast. You're shrinking dangerously fast. Why, you must have shrunk at least a foot in the last few days. Never, she cried. Of course you have. Take a look at your stick, you old goat, and see how much you've shrunk in comparison. You've got the shrinks. That's what you've got. You've got the dreaded shrinks. Mrs. Twit began to feel so trembly, she had to sit down. And that's the end of chapter eight. <laughs>